Hi guys, this is my Peugeot partner van, 1.6 HDI. Um, I've got a little bit of a, a whining noise on the turbo. Um, it's intermittent and I think it's not getting the uh, oil all the time. Um, I found out that this is the, um, the top oil feed to the turbo, which comes via this pipe, um, which goes into the, the block um, and into the crankcase. Um, now on the other end of this pipe is another one of these, they call it a banjo bolt um, and apparently there's another little teeny filter that gets blocked up on the other end of this pipe and I've got a feeling it's blocked. Um, well it's one of the easiest things I can do to change and remedy the problem. Uh, the only problem is I've got to take off the uh, DPF filter and take off this case here. Uh, and a few bits and pieces which I'm not that worried about because I've done it before um, it's not the end of the world it's not a massive job um, so I'm going to get started on that right now so the DPF filter is basically the downpipe of the exhaust um, there's a few little things we've got to take off first which is um, this heat shield which you can't take off until you've took this off because the bolts are in the way uh, there's a couple of pipes down there uh, and just a, a couple of exhaust clamps so I'm going to get started on that right now so that top pipes off now we can see the uh, heat shield bolts okay, now the uh, heat shields off we can uh, we can see the turbo and the but the um, the clamp holding the, uh, the filter on you can see a little bit more what's what's going on there Okay, so I've uh, took all the clamps off the uh, DPF filter and uh, there's two pipes and uh, two wires. I'll just lower the camera down there so you can see the, uh, the little... Oh, it's a bit awkward to get in. Okay, so there's the... Uh, can you see it? The little banjo bolt that we're talking about. Hopefully there's a little... Um, filter in there that's causing the problem uh, I'm going to take out and everything's going to be beautiful so there's the pipe off guys um, there's the little bolt with the filter in so I'll just take the filter out and see if that's all um, blocked up so there's the filter guys And I can't believe it's such a, it doesn't actually look that blocked, I'll just give it a quick wipe, but um, I can't believe it's such a fine filter um, to let oil pass through it to go to the turbo, but uh, what I am doing is leaving that out, everyone's telling me to take these out, um, not replace them or clean them, um, they're saying just take them out, so that's staying out, it's supposed to uh, um, help you increase the oil pressure to the turbo so that's staying out and I'll, uh, I'll reassemble it but just before I reassemble this I'm just going to uh, pop the airline quickly um, into the, the crankcase hole where the strainer goes uh, down for the to pick the oil up um, I'm just going to give it a quick blast through okay so I've just wrangled the uh, DPF filter back up uh, from underneath just hooked it back on the turbo there and uh, I have to admit it was a bit of a more than a bit of a fiddle getting it up like um, just past the the radiator and a couple of the brackets it was fiddly guys I think I think if I did this job again I'd definitely take the radiator off that would have made it like a nice easy job rather than that's just traumatized me a little bit there i'm covered in oil cuts on my back's aching the backs of my legs are aching um yeah so take the radiator off guys i think um that would be the easiest route that's it it's all back together um i just started it up and uh, it starts up fine um i'm gonna give it a road test now and uh See if we've lost the wine on the turbo. 
Well, it's all gone back together. I've flushed the engine out with uh, half engine oil and half diesel. Uh, had it running for about 10 minutes. Um, it's quite a thin concoction that, but it's just enough to, uh, to lubricate it. Uh, so inside that engine, it's absolutely spotless now. Um, it come out pretty clear. Um, so in putting it all back together, flushing it out, I'll just give it a test drive and the, the whining noise from the turbo is completely gone. Uh, so that's where the oil goes into the turbo and it just wasn't getting enough oil in there uh, to the bearing. So um, it's getting plenty of oil now. Uh, there's no whine uh, and I feel a lot happier with the engine. So uh, a good modification to take that little filter out and uh, you can't beat a good flush uh, on a diesel engine. Uh, so thanks very much for watching guys. Please give me a little like and subscribe uh, and watch my other videos